Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for Thursday, May 21st, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 20th of May, it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, yeah? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yes? So I don't really have an intro today. So let's just dive right in and see what you guys want to talk about today. Mm -hmm, that's right. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Thursday, May 21st, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, guys, three shuffles. Let's see what we've got for you today. One. Two for Thursday, May 21st, 2020, and three. All right, here we go. So, collective energies, what's the message for today? What's the deal? What's going on today? Four of Cups, okay. The star. Okay. Um, uh, all right. So the main topic for today, Four of Cups and the star, this makes me feel like um, with this, I feel like you're not really missing out on an opportunity per se um, because the Four of Cups, or in this case, the Four of summer can represent a missed opportunity, can represent boredom, um, uh, disinterest, that kind of energy, um, being offered something and not really taking it, not really want knowing if you want to take it. Um, but this is not, the, I'm not getting any sort of like unrequited love or anything. I am getting like a, a sense of boredom, but also with the star here, there's, um, I'm, I'm basically, I'm picking up doubt. Um, I feel like you have an opportunity well, maybe this is a situation. I, I mean, this. I, I'm not saying that I feel like any sort of offer is really being made to you right now um, in terms of like something tangible, something physical, but there is an opportunity in, in front of you right in this moment to continue moving towards what it is you want out of life, the star, okay? Your ultimate wish fulfillment here. Now, the star, uh, now this is the ultimate wish fulfillment, I will say on the... Um, soul level okay but the star also represents healing and faith true the card here says look to the future with hope and optimism the power of faith to move mountains happy changes that bring relief from challenging times but here's the thing coupled with the four of cups right now i i don't feel like you have that optimism i feel like what it is you want is coming or you're manifesting it or you're on your way towards it however your outlook right now is like whatever i'm not gonna get my hopes up um, i doubt this is ever actually going to happen anyway so like whatever universe i'm just kind of like all along for the ride but let me tell you i am the definition of skepticism right now it's kind of it's kind of that feeling um and that's okay i i i, I do want to let you know that that is in fact okay um i don't really feel like anything is being fully derailed because because of this i actually kind of feel like the universe is just kind of pulling you along here with this star energy and you're just going forward with it but it's almost an energy of kind of just going through the motions you might feel like you're on autopilot right now you might feel like you're a little bit of a zombie right now and that makes perfect sense i mean quite honestly this is how i feel right now a lot of the time however the thing that i've come to understand is um it, it's kind of natural for 
uh, in terms of all of the purging and the healing and the 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 things that we're being we've had to face lately and all the changes that are happening in our lives this does just kind of feel like we're in a little bit of a zombie mode like whatever universe you just pull me wherever you want me to go i'm not really trying to put forth much effort right now because there's still memories and um feelings from the past and that are kind of creeping into the to the present in terms of or in the form of it's showing up as skepticism in a way or um discontentment sure yeah okay all right let's see what else we have here we have the six of wands look at that first card out from the rest of the deck from rest from the rest excuse me from the rest of what's fallen out here and it's the six of wands that is a good thing the six of springs so it does in fact mean that there is a victory at hand and i feel like you, this victory is not just what's coming for, towards you because of what you've been through and how you've overcome it um but it's also a victory in terms of the fact that you have overcome a bunch of stuff and what this feels like right now is yes you're you're victorious at the moment but you may not necessarily be able to really appreciate that victory right now because it's hard won and it's hard won to the point where it like it where it's like it took so much blood sweat and tears that it has drained the hell out of you which is actually mainly why you're in this four of cups energy right now like i i i don't feel like you're being overly ungrateful i don't feel like you're trying to really stick it to the man or stick it to the universe i mean i've had my moments where it's just like i would they would i would kind of get bombarded by by messages and energies or something and i would kind of lash out at the universe which i always felt bad about <laughs> afterwards but at the same time it's mainly because of this fatigue um in terms of the healing that you've been doing here okay so but but there is in fact still a victory here for you we have the page of cups and we have the four of pentacles i like that but then we also have yes the hierophant and the two of wands okay Wow, this decision just keeps coming up, you guys. Um, but uh, over and over again, I'm just kind of confirming the same things. <laughs> so I guess it's necessary. Um, but w in in essence, what this is saying here, and is and, and I got this before when I saw the Page of Cups and the Four of Pentacles here. Um, but then the Hierophant and the Two of Wands just kind of solidified it. But what I picked up on at first when the Four, and I saw the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, there is an energy of being well-rooted, well-grounded in your dreams and not letting go of them, even though you might kind of be fighting against it right now or not necessarily believing that it's actually going to happen or just being that, that pessimistic, skeptical, um, moody teenager, I almost want to say. This is kind of what this feels like. Um, you know how when you were a teen and you were all angsty and blah, blah, blah. But for here, it's happening. Again, it's happening because there's a deep sense of fatigue and just maybe even disillusionment, you can call it. Um, and yet, you're still well-rooted or well-grounded in what it is you, that you dream of. I really don't feel like you're letting go of your dreams but that doesn't necessarily mean that you really quite believe that they're actually going to manifest right now. You you might, yeah, you know, ha, spirit is saying if this is very much an energy of not being able to, you, you, you can't see the forest for the trees. And I know the last thing that you want to hear right now is look at the bigger picture. <laughs> I know. Um, but that's kind of what that means, seeing the forest for the trees or missing the forest for, a trees, it's like, for the trees. It's like you're so focused on the small minute details or maybe at least what's right in front of you now that you can't see the larger spectrum the larger picture trust me guys i'm right along there with you that's one of the last things i want to hear right now but it is kind of true it's really quite relevant here okay and then finally with um the hierophant and the two of wands this is solidifying what the page of cups and the four of pentacles already said in terms of being very solid and stable in your dreams and not letting them go maybe even hoarding the kind of a hoarding energy that's that four of pentacles but then to to go in even deeper there is a choice that you have made or maybe there's a choice that you are facing but basically the the, the message here is that you've learned quite 
a great deal. And it's what you've learned that has influenced you to make the choices that you've made so far. Okay, I am hearing that the choices that you're making moving forward from this moment on are coming from a place or from a sense of deeper wisdom and understanding within the self that is allowing you to move forward on your path in your journey to take the next, uh, in essence, to take the next step on your path. Overall energy here, we have the Queen of Cups. Very good. Emotional, what I'm hearing is emotional continuity, um, emotional consistency, emotional balance, emotional control, emotional awareness. Um, this is, this very, this very much feels like a time right now, um, or at least the energy here in this session feels like you are in this place of going through your healing from the victory that you have achieved from the battle that you have come out of from the war maybe the war that you've won it may not feel like you won it right now because you're just so emotionally drained from all of this like this this has really been very very draining for you um and it may have been draining for you for an extended period of time much longer than you actually realize and as you sit in this energy or this healing energy right now because i do feel like there's a lot of healing happening for you right now as you sit in this healing energy and as things become clearer and clearer and you start to come out of the haze and out of the fog, you will you probably start to see just how long you had been struggling with whatever it is you were struggling with, um, or at least just how far you've come, how much you've grown, all that good stuff. Yes. Very nice. Excuse me. <clears throat> very, very nice. This is good. Um, let's get into some clarity here. And, and to be quite honest, I want to clarify the two of wands or the two of spring just to see why this is coming back up. <laughs> this message does keep coming up over and over again. We've been talking about some sort of choice that needed to be made or whatnot for at least two weeks now, I want to say. Um, and here what Spirit is saying is this is mainly just confirmation that again, as I've been saying, or as the narrative has been saying, you know, you've made the right choice. You're going in the right direction. I mean, we were talking about this choice in depth a few days over, for a few days over the week, this week and last week, because this choice was showing up as the lovers, which is, yes, definitely is a choice, but it's a choice of vice over virtue. There's a choice that has been made in terms of following your higher self, maybe even following your mission, your life mission, if something like that resonates with you, um, being called towards the next step in the journey, the next the next stop on the road, the next lesson, the next whatever is next for you, okay? Um, and specifically, what I'm hearing or feeling here with Unity or the Hierophant and the Two of Wands, um, yes, uh, is that with what you learned what the, and the knowledge that you gained and the experience that you've gained here, you actually had the choice, had, um, yeah, you had the choice to, ooh, we'll say it this way, you had the ability to make the executive decision to choose what is next. It wasn't a situation where it's like, okay, you, you finished something and now your higher self is ushering off, you off into the next lesson without you really choosing what you want to experience next. But I feel like there's a there's a fairly strong feeling here that um, you were able to choose for yourself this time. You because but that's because of the, the level of consciousness and awareness you have cultivated throughout whatever it is you've been through here. And yes, part of you or part of me kind of wants, looks at that and hears that and says, ooh, well, that's a privilege. And it's like, yeah, okay, I guess it is a privilege, but I don't think it felt like a privilege <laughs> at the time. Um, I, st I don't think it, I still don't think it feels like a privilege to you, mainly because of just how worn out I feel like you are. And that's something that's going to, you'll be able to understand later uh, when you get like the fullness of your strength back. But yeah, I don't think you see it this way right now. But let, anyway, let's go a little bit deeper here. I'm going to look at both Unity or the Hierophant and the Two of Wands together. So what is this spirit? There it is, the Knight of Wands, the activation. Wow, the chariot with the Ace of Wands. There you go. So the choice that you made here, 
Um, yes. Well, I told you. I told you it was the executive decision. Did I say it? I think I said it. I was hearing it in my head. I was trying to make, I was trying to figure out the best way to say it. And it, what I heard was the executive decision to go in a, it really was like you, you were in charge spirits, your higher self or spirit said, okay, so-and-so you've done well, you've learned a lot. You have, you are, you are activated. You have been able to get yourself into balance here. And not only just, just like, you know, physical balance this is like spiritual harmony this is like the balance between masculine and feminine positive negative dark light all of that stuff okay that's what the chariot is this is like ultimate self balance and yes it doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that you know the balance isn't going to change and you're not going to have to find it later on but at this moment in time you are within a, a state of a frame of mind of even is what i just heard of the ultimate or ideal balance for yourself in this moment so that you can move forward towards what is next for you okay so and and, and right there there it is right there the, the emperor with the ace of wands you made the executive decision to say all right i know what i've been through i know what i want i know what i don't want so let's see what's going to be the best the best way to go about that let's go this way and you've made that decision that's really beautiful. Let's see what else we have here. Yes, the Fool. The Nine of Swords. Interesting with the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Wow, it's the Knight of Swords. Holy moly. Um, this is some interesting energy. So the Fool with the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Um, I think this is what I want to talk about the most here. Because what this is saying to me... Give me a second. Let me just, let me just reorganize this here for a second. But what this is saying to me, you guys, is... Um, Yes, you have taken, you're taking, you're, you're in the process, or maybe you've taken that leap of faith already. You have, but that's the fool. But there is some anxiety here in terms of opening yourself up, the Knight of Cups. I see the Knight of Cups as, um, yes, it's progress from the page to the, from the page to the Knight. Yes, it is progress. And then both the pages and the Knights are messengers. I see the Knights as individuals that can sometimes handle the king or queen's dirty work like what we see potentially in the knight of swords right but also um you know the the the, the knights are in the process of becoming either the king or the queen so this is an individual that takes initiative that that is starts is starting to work on their independence is starting to formulate their legacy who they are in the world what they stand for and, and experience what and that's when they start yeah you start to experience things you start to go out and and put yourself out there and learn new things and try new things and all that stuff so i i, I see the knight of cups as an energy of an open heart chakra living uh, or being vulnerable putting yourself out there trying new things kind of also living with your heart on your sleeve but that's where we get into where that Four of Cups energy is coming into play here because there is fear. There is definitely some fear surrounding opening yourself up to the new that's here or coming in your life. There's fear. There's a lot of fear of the past. And you're probably very, very defensive about it right now, Knight of Swords. That makes perfect sense. Quite frankly, you guys, this is all part of the healing process. And I don't feel like you you slipped so deep into the pessimism or the skepticism or the cynicism that you don't ever want to come out of it. You just may not be able to see any way out of it right now. And you're doing everything that you can to protect yourself. Knight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck overall. Okay, so, all right, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, what I want to do then is I want to go a little bit deeper here. Tell us a little bit more, please, Spirit, about the Fool, the Nine of Swords, and the Knight of Cups here. Oh, boy, is that the King of Cups? No, it's the Page of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> um... Page of Pentacles with, yeah, there it is. The Five of Cups. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Interesting. And the Ace of Cups. Wow. And the Six of Pentacles. Um. All right. So 
interestingly enough, as I was channeling, I saw dishonesty somewhere and I, I saw it on one of the cards that's over here, but it's not actually on any of the cards. I saw distracted and that that looked like that said dishonesty to me. So some of you are dealing with a great deal of dishonesty that you've experienced in your life and it might be on your own behalf, but also it's on the behalf of others. It's just other people weren't were not honest with you or maybe you weren't honest enough and that kind of brought a situation to an end. Ultimately though, all is not lost here. Okay, three of cups, or I'm sorry, the five of cups here, but three of those cups are spilled out. And that's where I feel like we are in this four of cups energy. We're looking at these three cups just kind of like, well, that's over, that's done. I guess it's never actually going to happen. But we're not realizing right now because that you know, all is not lost here. We do have still have this two of cups energy behind you. You just can't see it yet. And I kind of want to say that we're kind we are moving towards we're moving towards actually the fulfillment or the love or the experience or whatever that we want. Um, but right now is a time for us to love ourselves, to care for ourselves. Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So you just recently reached a new level and you're overcoming a lot or, or i'm i should say you have already overcome a hell of a lot and it's led you here it's led you to this new level it's led you to this next phase in your life and there are still a lot of raw emotions that you have to deal with there's still a lot of fatigue that you have to deal with i mean this was not an easy process and spirit recognizes that like so they may bombard us with information and messages and intuitive insights and channels and downloads and all that sometimes, but they don't mean any harm by it. You know, they, they have a different perspective than us. And sometimes we can get overwhelmed by it. And all we have to do is just say, whoa, chill out, or I, I can't take any more today, something like that. But right now is a time for us to focus on loving ourselves, focus on filling our cup, focus on focus on nurturing ourselves, focus on nurturing ourselves into this new level, or as we settle into this new level, uh, I'm feeling very strongly, there's no reason to take all that much action right now. You probably still have a lot to learn about this new phase or this new process or where you're going next. You're in the very beginning phases of this. You don't have to rush anything. There's nothing too pressing other than your healing process that needs to be focused on right now okay with the, with the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck it's time to give to yourself right now don't worry about what's coming in the future don't worry about how this path is going to unfold don't worry about what it is you need to do or anything especially if you're not getting any of that insight or information right now you don't have to plan for anything. You don't have to focus too much. Just follow through with the process that has already been started. The moment, the momentum that is already underway. Just continue to follow through. Look at it this way. In your previous level, you put a plan together, right? And now you're in, now you've stepped into the reality of fleshing out that plan or working that plan out with the page of pentacles. And the page of pentacles is a very consistent individual. The page of pentacles will follow the instructions of whomever has put the, the, the plan together. So all you really need to do is just follow through with that plan. Okay. Cool. I want to get some closing tarot guidance from Spirit here, and then we'll close this out with some Oracle guidance, yeah? Who me? All right. So, one last shuffle, and I just want to see what closing guidance Spirit has for us here. Closing guidance, please, Spirit. Wheel of Fortune, very good. Five of Pentacles in reverse, very good. Okay. Overall energy, oh, whoa, all right. Well, look, overall energy is the lovers. There's that choice of vice over virtue, that, that choice, that moment where you can choose yourself or you can choose, continue to choose others and you have chosen yourself. 
And that is creating a change in karma for you. Wheel of Fortune with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. No longer in this lack of mentality. No longer feeling less than, not good enough. Um, there is definitely, I'm definitely picking up vibes for someone here. And maybe it's just symbolic. But this is a general reading. So it could be literal. <clears throat> but I'm picking up vibes of an individual, like, like this is taking me kind of back to like high school, where you were kind of like the wallflower or the one that never really spoke up or like the less than popular one, the one that no one really paid attention to or um, saw. Maybe you were that kind of invisible energy, but now you're standing up and you're saying no more. I'm better than that. I'm worth better than that. And because you are changing your mindset there, it is in fact changing your reality. It's changing your karma. It's changing what you pull in. You know, it's changing your manifestations here. Eight of Pentacles. Yes, with the world. That's beautiful. That's really, really beautiful. Um, continue doing the work. Continue following through because it's helping bring things to a close but also the work that you have done is in fact what is creating this closing out of a cycle here for you okay beautiful guys i love it also don't get me wrong when i say continue following through that I mean, that's if you you still have planned things to act on don't don't take, don't, 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 don't mistake this for spirit saying, look for more things to do. No, 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 no. Just continue to follow through with what you've already been doing because it's working. And if you've reached a point where you don't really have anything to do right now, but to just rest and wait, then do that. Okay. Don't force yourself into any sort of activity that is less than meaningful. Okay. Take this time to rest and recuperate because you need it. You've been going through a lot. You deserve this chance to just rest and heal. Okay. Okay. Closing Oracle Guidance from the Gaia Oracle deck. Here we go. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. Woo. That one. Reflection. Card number 13. Ooh, okay. 13 is a number of death in the tarot, but that's also a number of change and transformation. And here you go. You have reflection, illusion, self-examination, distortion. But I'm kind of seeing this as a moment of reflection, like reflecting, looking back on your life and what you've experienced up until this point. And I guess kind of just like compartmentalizing it, putting it into perspective and allowing that to integrate so that you can, as you move into the next phase, but let's read this. What you see around you mirrors what you feel within you. The chaos you perceive or experience in your physical reality simply reflects your inner chaos and turmoil. If things are not well in your outer world, what is it that is not working well within you? This card calls for a thorough self-examination. Do not merely skim the surface. You must delve deeper to uncover the truth. This will take time, patience, and commitment. Observe your thoughts and feelings throughout the day and make a note of negative or unconstructive thoughts and feelings. This practice, over time, will in itself help heal and restore balance to your life. It may be helpful to keep a diary in which you note your thoughts and feelings. What it is that triggers these thoughts and feelings. I'm sorry, what is it that triggers these thoughts and feelings? Journal writing will also help provide that, I'm sorry, will also help provided that the journal is for your eyes only. It may also be helpful to seek professional advice from a qualified counselor or health practitioner who has experience in this field. Commit to this reflective journey. Be disciplined in your approach and you will never look back. The rewards will be greater than you ever imagined. I just kind of feel like we've already been in this energy. So this is just a confirmation that if, you know, if you've just, if you've been in this energy of self-reflection and all that, then stay there. This is a good place to be. It's really, really helping you. And if you need guidance, if you need understanding, if you're kind of lost, self-reflection right now is the best thing for you to do because that will help you put things into perspective so that you can get a greater understanding for yourself of either which direction to move in or where you are currently moving towards, okay? Your affirmation here for the day is, my heart is full of love and light. 
all is well in my world. I feel the peace within me, and this creates peace around me. I observe all I think and feel. Each negative thought or feeling is automatically transformed to love. Let's say that one more time. My heart is full of love and light. All is well in the world. Oh, in my world, excuse me. All is well in my world. Let's start over. My heart is full of love and light. All is well in my world. I feel the peace within me, and this creates peace around me. I observe all I think and feel. Each negative thought or feeling is automatically transformed to love. So there you have it, guys. Thank you much for so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.